If you're feeling hungry, then it's time to eat because today we've got our hands on the Mojave 6S BLX Desert Truck and it's large, powerful, capable of 60 miles an hour and ready to thrash right out of the box. So today, let's check out this desert truck, see how fast it goes, and then just let it eat. Here it is, the Arma Mojave. Now it's no secret by now, this is a high performance one seven scale RC truck with 6S brushless electronics, a four x four drivetrain, and cool desert truck styling. Now when you get the truck, it comes fully ready to run when you pull it out of the box with a painted body, programmed electronics, and the SLT3 transmitter, which does require four AA batteries. The truck also needs a battery pack to start ripping, and for maximum power, either one 6S LiPo battery or two 3S LiPo batteries will work. Either way, that's 22.2 volts of power, and it is extreme. Oh my gosh, dude. Now for top speeds with a fresh battery, we tested the truck as it is straight out of the box and it easily achieved 53 miles an hour. Next, we removed the stock pinion gear that comes installed on the motor and replaced it with the high speed pinion gear that's included, recharge the battery and try it again. Wow, that was a little frightening, man. Did you see the front end hop up? This time, the truck went screaming by at 62 miles an hour. The Mojave is also compatible with 4S LiPo batteries. The truck won't be extremely fast like with the 6S, but it'll still be plenty quick with the benefits of reduced wear on the drivetrain. And 4S batteries cost less than 6S batteries. It's about a $60 difference in the case of these Gen Zace Basher Pro Packs that we're using. Now speed runs on 4S LiPo power are still respectable, achieving 37 miles an hour on the stock pinion gear and 45 miles an hour with the high speed gearing. Now after those speed runs, we reinstalled our stock pinion gear so we're ready to bash and we'll be using a 6S LiPo to do it. Now the truck that we've got is the version two, the V2 model, and it was released around Christmas time 2020. And I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, that truck's old, Brett, but it really isn't. And for anyone who's looking at 6S extreme off-road bashers, this is a really important truck to consider. We just never had the chance to make a video on it before, so that's why we're doing it now. And it was well worth the wait. Now for one, there's very few extreme off-road bashers that try to look realistic, so it's always appreciated when one does. And the Mojave body pulls off that desert truck look pretty well. Like in the front, there's a hard plastic tube bumper that pokes through the body from the inside. It's only attached to the body, not the chassis. And half of that bumper is hidden behind the body and the remaining piece sits below Low, and it's actually a little rubber flap so it looks like a proper bumper there but it's flexible so it doesn't dig into the dirt when you land from jumps and such. The interior piece of the body is pretty slick too using a Lexan piece that's attached from the inside and then there are roll bar tubing used on the top and the bottom of it to kind of sandwich it in place in the body. That interior piece has two little guys, their seats, the steering wheel, and the dash all molded into it, and then it's painted black with more decals added to it. There are a lot more details in the back of the truck too, including the rear window venting that properly allows the airflow from that interior out. Plus there's decals for fire extinguishers, a rear axle and spare gas cans. One of the best and most useful details are these hard plastic skid plates found on the roof. So if you flip on your lid, you're sliding on these and not the body. And they're also replaceable when they wear out. 
One last cool area on this body are these big old wide wheel wells that puff out to capture the desert truck tires and wheels, which are a plastic color coordinated multi-spoke wheel with 17 millimeter hexes. And then those are glued to the rubber DeBoots Fortress tires with vent holes on the rubber tire, not the wheel. These wheels are a 2.4 by 3.3. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any other aftermarket tires and wheels specifically made for the Mojave. For replacements, Arma sells the Fortress tires pre-mounted on the wheel ready to go in the color options of your choosing. Other than that, Proline offers these paddle tires for sand or snow applications. There are other eight scale tires and wheels out there with the 17 millimeter hex that will fit onto the Mojave. You just have to watch out for the clearance and maybe trim the fenders on the body a little some trial and error is needed. So these are the Proline Badlands 3.8 pre-mounts. They're a great tire and they fit pretty well on the Mojave, but when turning in, this outside tire just, just barely hits that front bumper when the shock compresses. They're very wide. So with the body on, the tire would definitely hit inside this fender. There would be quite a bit of trimming on the body needed for these tires to clear. Now these are the Sweep Road Crushers and the offset for these wheels is totally different than these Badlands, which has a really deep offset on it. Now because of that offset being shallow, there is no rubbing right here on the inside when you're turning. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it looks kind of silly or awesome, but there is quite a bit of rubbing that's gonna take place. Oh, it rubs on the back too a little bit. So they would be doable, but not without some trimming. Big cars use big tires, and you get a sense of that with the Mojave side-by-side -side with this standard-sized tent scale Losi Baja Ray Ford Raptor. Or it's even more extreme with this 124th scale SCX24. Now the Mojave is a big RC at nearly 30 inches long and 14 inches wide with a weight of about 12 pounds and it swings it around pretty easily even on this pavement parking lot surface, no problem. Our lot here has a lot of loose tree debris on the surface and it makes for tons of power sliding and lots of high speed aggressive driving without the worry of traction rolling. Wheelies aren't even a concern because the Mojave is not designed to wheelie. So staying on the throttle longer and harder is promoted and rewarded in how fast those tires and motors spool up and then that awesome scream it makes when doing it. The independent suspension on the Mojave is extremely playful thanks to the lightweight 550 CST shock fluid and this suspension is designed to soak up the surface like a proper desert truck. Now this parking lot surface is a lot cleaner than the last and it has more traction and the truck sways and leans a bit more and we even got it to traction roll once or twice. The suspension is very reactionary though and it performs its best in rough terrain where the suspension can work to keep the tires on the ground and in control on the surface. With a desert truck, you wanna stay connected to the surface at all times. And the Mojave tries really hard to make this happen. In many extreme cases, the front inside tire lifts up and that tire will balloon really big, but it never popped came unglued or caused us any issues. We didn't have any issues with the truck actually, other than the Velcro on the sides of the body ripping off, which was probably user error. And then one wheel nut came loose and fell off during our very first run. A wheel nut wrench is included and we just didn't check them. We did make one addition to the vehicle where we added the EcoPower 35 millimeter fan to the included motor heat sink because there is no fan on there, but there are mounts for one. Overall, the Mojave is fantastic in how it looks and drives, and it offers you so much power, it can go from tame and playful 
to super aggressive in one pull of the trigger. And we'd want it no other way. Guys, go check out the Mojave with our links down below. And for more RC, check out these videos.